Hello. Spyro to Vine Sauce. It appears I streamed Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. January 29th, 2020. I didn't know that until just now, by the way. It's January 20, tw uh, 27th, yes, 2021. It just felt right. I should have waited two days. Anyway, hi everybody. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the stream, starting a new game had some weird tech problems with this where it just turned my monitor off so that was fun uh, but yeah we're gonna do Spyro 3 so I'll tell you about the tech problems I, I might need a little bit of help if anyone knows tech problem but anyway So I've never played this. I've played Spyro 1 and 2 from this remake. And, um... This is the PC version. Egg Thief. Sorry, making volume a little bit louder. Some people consider this to be the best of the three. Are you playing with a controller? Yeah. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Nope. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. Some people think two is better. But well, I liked Spyro 2 more than one. Spyro 2 was really good. Where are the eggs? Side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs. I'm the time. Too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The Forgotten Realms. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! <laughs> Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. We need to make omelets. You got it. Yeah, I mean, I, I wanted to... I like these games. I like Stuart Copeland's soundtrack. Um, I like the way these games play. They're very, uh, they're very good. And, yeah, they're... The Spyro's good. Spyro's a good game. Uh, I Again, I never played Spyro when I was younger, so revisiting with this collection, which is uh, a very good collection. It's been kind of cool to revisit these games for the very first time. But yeah, I had a weird tech issue. By the way, my XMP was off. I had a weird tech issue where I loaded this game up and just turned my monitor off. And I've been having this issue lately where some games just, like, try to go across both monitors. It sucks. It's weird. I don't get it. So, I don't know. Um... But I'm here now. I wonder how many frames I'm getting. Maybe I should go... Maybe I'll just turn the... Because I'm streaming this. I'll just get down to 60 FPS. That way we don't have to worry about... Yeah, this is probably going to end up being a smoother experience overall. Okay, 
Windows XMP, press F12 many times. Okay, go into settings. Then, memory settings. XMP, profile one, set to 3600. Uh, sorry, 36,000, enable. Driver settings. Uh, yeah, I mean, I updated my NVIDIA card. I, I, maybe there's other drivers I need to update, but I don't know. It's it's just a weird issue I've been having lately. Hi, Spyro. Oh, well. To look left or right, use the right stick. To quickly center the camera behind you, tap the center camera button. You can also look all around by pressing the action button. Okay. So if you've uh, not watched my previous Spyro playthroughs, this is the first one in 1080p. So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back into that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find any Africa. eggs, our expertly trained armies would hunt you down and take them back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry, and you won't like me when I'm angry. It sounds like Eggabel. I don't. I. <laughs> it's one. It's. Wait a minute. This isn't bug snacks. Spyro. Oh, this my asshole. My, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I yeah, came people were buying way nice too much GameStop. The local sorceress. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. The sorceress has asked me to guard Sheila the kangaroo. I suppose if you had a bit more money, I'd be willing to let her escape. Then you could keep her for a pet or something. Okay. Well, that's really fucking weird, dude. Why are we not killing this lad? <laughs> wow! Um, uh, I don't know, man. Anyway, chat, I went to a GameStop today. I was gonna buy a $3 copy of Fallout 76. And, um, what struck me was... It was cool because the complimentary caviar was amazing. The, uh, tuxedo, also complimentary, that they gave me at the door was nice. But the doorman wasn't as accommodating as I had hoped. Like, the monocle was slightly scratched. And it was just a uh, really unfortunate... Um, it was a really unfortunate thing. I mean, I walked through the golden hallway, and I got to the game section. They had every game ever made, and, uh, and I got my Fallout copy for three bucks. But, just something was a little off about the caviar. I basically stole that, but it, it's... I still don't know what the fuck is happening. <laughs> it's just funny to me. <laughs> Sorry. People are sending me GameStop memes. Stonks are happening. Sure. Yeah, I understand stonks. I played Animal Crossing. Yo, Spyro! I just found one of those portal thing in the jigs that leads to a different world, but you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me! So the whole cast of, uh, Bug Tales is in this game. Or rather, the whole cast of Spyro is in Bug Tales. Um... <laughs> yes, bug tails. <laughs> Sorry, bug snacks. Same thing. Um, no, but yeah, my, my writers, they send me material before I stream, and the problem with that is sometimes they borrow it from the internet. It's really weird how that happens. Is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to manually Which bug snack is this? If you like, I can change the game camera to active mode. 
In active mode, the camera adjusts itself based on your movement. Uh... Okay, no. I won't change it. Okay. Spyro killing innocent sheep. But yeah, um, uh, it's it's a collecting game if you don't know Spyro somehow. And Stuart Copeland of the band The Police made the music. And Stuart Copeland may be my favorite drummer of all time. And I like his soundtracks. His soundtracks are good. So I'm gonna check out. So you can you can do uh, dynamic. And you can, like, see the difference. I enjoyed streaming Spyro 2 a year ago. And I figured, yeah, it was time. I'm about done with that Super Metroid thing. Uh, and, uh... I had a couple other game ideas, but this one just seemed like the best choice for now. get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Maybe you could get it. You can dive underwater by pressing the charge button when you're on the surface. And charge underwater by holding down charge as well. Vinny, do you like Oyster Head? I don't like Trey Anastasio that much, but I respect his his uh, playing a lot. Like, I don't like the band Fish, is what I'm trying to say. It, it was never my my thing, even if I do like the Floyd and all that stuff. Um, but I, I've listened to some Oysterhead, and it, it's amazing. Dude's an amazing guitarist. Yeah, I haven't heard every Fish song. I've only, you know... Problem was Fish Culture, P H I S H is the name of the band. Is um, I had a friend that was really into Fish, and it was almost worse than like people that are obsessive about Tool. And I like Tool a lot. I actually really like Tool, but um, the Fish, like the Fish thing, just I didn't, I didn't get it. It was like Grateful Dead levels of obsession. So anyway, let me tell you about the Beatles. But, uh, yeah, I may not like Fish that much because there I have these weird expectations, but I do like Trey Anastasio's solos. So anyway, the point is, I think that, uh, Oysterhead is very good. Worse than insert fandom I dislike. I mean, this is a conversation that can go in circles for hours about different fandoms and how they can ruin the thing you like if you let it, etc, etc. But for me... I guess the, the whole vibe around Fish and Grateful Dead in particular, of like making a pilgrimage and wearing tie-dye or whatever, <laughs> was never that appealing to me. But, um, I do like some songs. I'm late for a dinner party at the Tiki Lodge, and the portal to my home just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons hatch. Ten eggs needed to open. Okay. Not as cringe as the Vine Sauce fandom, says a member of the Vine Sauce fandom. Um... With, like, platinum sub. <laughs> Vine Sauce toothpaste account member. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> this pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could... Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday. But for the time being... It's making me rich. <laughs> I uh, hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. That's good of you, mate. No hard feelings. Hi, eh? Sheila. Right. You know any all, any lads? Doing my job. Can't under. <laughs> Yeet. Is he is he like dead for the rest of the game now? I reckon you'd be one of them dragons then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know? Then all of a sudden you left. Poof! Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah. And the weird thing is, after they left, 
all the magic in the world just sort of went with her. Like Lord of the Rings. I mean, at the end of the third age. Magic coming out of the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit anytime you like. Good lord. Which bug snacks was that? Um we can we can just go to Sunny Villa. Also, I'm gonna go back to the original music, Stuart Copeland music. Original. I found that his arrangements and mixing have a little bit more punch to them. Toga? Ferocious Rhinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor. I'm playing Hades tonight, chat. Now this is this is probably more Roman. Kraken is playing Hades for the first time, I think. <clears throat> and and um and Ross too. Weird. I think both on the same day they played it for the first time. I don't know if they coordinated that, but that's a weird coincidence, if not. I'll return to it. There, there will be a time. I just, you know, there's so many other games that I wanted to play. If this is what remakes look like now, Just I wonder what they're going to look like when the next gen of consoles is more settled. And they're not making games for PS4 and Xbox One as well. I just wonder if, if uh, these studios are going to put even more effort into their visuals. I guess it depends on developer, right? Show those two bully. Uh, so chat, today I played an Among Us clone, like a ripoff, and um, it's called Pretend, <laughs> where the pretender is dubious, and uh, I played it with Alpha and Hacker and a bunch of people. Um, I'll try. And it was it was a good time. It was terrible, and it might be a Bitcoin miner. But I I, I recorded a local video of it. I might do like a little edit. I'm not sure what what I'm gonna do with the footage, truthfully. But it was funny because of how terrible and bootleg it was, and yet it's just the same thing again, with even worse qualities to it. When is Epic SMP? So... I was, um, invited. Here's what happened. Chances are people are going to be asking me about this. So, Minecraft... There's a group of, of people who stream and, and make YouTube who have a server for Minecraft where it's got proximity voice and mods. And it's not really a role-play thing, but I, I don't think it is, at least. It, um, you just build and stuff. I don't, I don't really get it. It's not RP. Well, Ross has been playing it for like a week straight, and he's like addicted to it. 
and he and I had a brief conversation about, well, maybe I'll join. And I wasn't really sure I wanted to, because I'm not really in the mood for Minecraft yet. And also, when it comes to online server stuff, I, you know, I would... I would join once in a while, maybe like a two or three times, and then just be done with it. So I wasn't sure I wanted to do it, but I didn't give him an answer. I just said maybe, and I think he kind of miscommunicated, or the server owner um, misunderstood, and they made a tweet that I was going to be joining when I had not agreed to that. So then they cleared it up. I didn't even know. I, I, I was like, news to me, but I didn't know. And then we spoke about it, and it was all good. It was just a, a really just dumb misunderstanding. But I'm still gonna join. I'm gonna check it out. I'm not gonna, like, spend a lot of time with it. Excuse me. But apparently there's a number of people who haven't streamed it or made videos. They're just there, playing. I don't think I'm gonna stream it. I think instead I'm just gonna play it offline. Explore, check out people's creations. Maybe build a little terrible house and uh, check out a couple uh, people as they're building, and, and, and that'll be good for me. You know, and if, um, if Ross is, is chilling, he's taking a couple days off, but, like, I might have him give me a tour. So, that's pretty much all that happened. It sounds like a cool thing, but it's not my thing exactly. I, I like the idea of it on paper, but I, I, don't, I don't think I would want to stick with it for too long. Each time a fairy zaps you, like this, it means your progress has been saved. If you get into trouble, you'll return to the last place you got zapped. Offline recording? Yeah, I do local recording sometimes. Where I'm not streaming it, and I'm just recording the session. Like, that's what I did today with the pretend... Vinny, you don't have to stream every game. Oh, I know. I don't. I play a lot of stuff on my own, but this seems like a thing that would be cool to have a recording of. So I'll probably do that. When do I get to be Tony Hawk in Spyro? Thanks for the help, but I think I could have worn him down sooner or later. Have you seen any of our giant chickens? The Rhinox have been trying to eat them all. In this level, there's Tony Hawk. I, I want to see what these mini games are like. People have said that this game has lots of mini games to try to like shake up the formula, and now I'm really curious about that. Tony Hawk is still spinning. Some say he's still spinning and doing the 900. To this very day. Thank you for rescuing our town. As mayor, I awarded you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs. Chicken egg named Sanders. Not a colonel, not a chicken. Sorry, that was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, my God. I found this gladiator <laughs> training arena that also makes for a pretty cool skate park. Care for a test of your boarding skills? I bet you can't catch all 15 lizards running around here. Oh my god. Chat, is this a joke? Oh fuck, what happens? Oh, if you lose your skateboard like that, then you're done. You gotta get another one.
I mean, I guess it would make sense that something published by Activision would have a fucking Tony Hawk minigame. Can you do tricks? Spyro better than Tony Hawk confirmed. The original wasn't Activision? Oh, my bad, chat. This is really dumb. <laughs> Peak 90s? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's cool. It's, I mean, it, it's, yeah, it's skateboarding, all right. The lizard icon is pogging. Oh, fuck, you're right. Oh, that's how you do a tr okay. This game came out in 2000. Too far from the 90s. Weirdly enough, I just watched a video from Rick Beato today about how new metal killed a lot of alternative bands, and like how um, the media industry is conglomerating into like six big companies, merged all the playlists so that everyone was playing the same music. And how, like, a ton of bands that were really popular just kind of disappeared and everyone was listening to Corn and Limp Bizkit instead. <laughs> like, Cake. Um, he listed a bunch and I was like, you know what? Yeah, like the Verve. Um... Uh, Toad the Wet Sprocket. Um, the Toadies. Just all these weird alternative bands from the 90s that were- some were pretty good. Korn's not that bad, says a chat member. I- I don't think Korn's that bad. I actually like- that first album was very good. And, um, they- they had the- the freak on the leash. But, yeah, I don't- I don't hate Korn. I don't really like new metal. Like, almost at all, but... I had that first Korn record, and I liked some of their other songs. I mean, Got the Life is a good song. I just don't seek corn out. I like to eat corn sometimes. But listening to corn is not happening a whole lot these days, chat. Pornographer. <laughs> Fuck off. I, uh, so someone said corn made Led Zeppelin. And I decided to listen to one of my favorite albums that I haven't listened to in years again. Physical Graffiti. And it, it's, it's still great. But then I went down this rabbit hole of why did Robert Plant's voice change so much from Led Zeppelin 4 to Physical Graffiti? And aside from the fact that the dude was a smoker and doing some, you know, some drug allege, there's a concert in Japan where they're doing Over the Hills and Far Away, and he is cracking so hard he cannot hit the high notes. And it's basically regarded as the beginning of the end of his his high pitch. Um, apparently, at one point, he got a cold. He got like a really bad cold, and he just powered through it and kept singing. And he really injured his throat. And, um, you can really hear it. You can really, really hear it. There's, like, a very distinct point of difference between... He had this incredible power and range 
And then he was still good, but it never really was the same. And, um... People say that their manager should have, like, encouraged them to take some time off and not tour fucking relentlessly. And also maybe see a doctor. But then he did have throat surgery, and that might have also contributed. Anyway, the point is, take care of your voice, everybody. There's no way to go faster on this, is there? Oh, okay, I just have to be very precise. I found this in a lizard burrow. <gasps> Vinny, aren't you doing a metal album this year? Metal! How did a hard rock album morph into a metal album? <laughs> no. And even so, like, I'm not gonna be touring or anything. I'm- I'm taking care of my voice. Lots of, you know, exercises before I actually do the vocal takes. But also, there's ways you can, like, do honey and lemon tea, and that helps. And, um, lots of sleep, and just kind of... I'm not planning on screaming my heart, like, to the point of metal, is- is what I'm trying to say. It's- it's not gonna be like that. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Joel does metal albums, I don't. Don't scream project. Well, that's what I'm- I'm learning to do more of that. Because, um, you can get power and still have a little rasp to it without screaming. So there's- there's just, you, you know, time and, and learning. Oh, chicken turned up! I hope it's not the only one left. Lizard skating two? Hunter had another egg. Remember to use the dragonfly to find missing gems. Thank you. All right. If you can catch all the lizards before time expires, go get them. Do we want to do more of this? Ah, fuck it. Why not? Oh, this one's timed. There's, um, there's a Led Zeppelin song that I, I really, really like, that I hadn't thought of in a while. You know the song, In the Light? Anyone? From Physical Graffiti? Very, very good. John Nirvana in chat agrees. Thank you, John Nirvana. Oh, you can't crash at all. All right. But yeah, even in the light has a Lord of the Rings reference. Blade Runner? <laughs> See, that's the thing. I don't think I would ever write a song about Blade Runner. I just don't... I mean, you never say never, right? But... Lord of the Rings? Sure. No problem. Blade Runner? I don't know what you could write a song about without it being, like, tacky and weird. 
Lord of the Rings is already very musical. How Tolkien wrote lyrics to songs that didn't exist. Oh, you fuck. Write a song about the shrink shrimp lady. Okay, so check this out. Shrimp lady. You know there's a VR chat shrimp lady on the way, right? Well, there's another one. Someone also, another person is making a shrimp lady and, and a specific world. For the shrimp lady. I'll be honest, the face is not quite shrimp lady, but it's still a really good effort. So there's, there's going to be a lot of um, shrimp ladies running around VR chat at some point. There are a lot of these skateboarding s sequences, chat, in this game. So I, I did a 100% of uh, Spyro 1 and 2. I'm not sure I'm going to do the same for this. I know I said that last time, but... I'm going to... Um, I've heard there- I heard there were some frustrating... ...ones in here. Uh, there's a couple frustrating ones. What am I- uh, so there's a shadow of one. I don't know how to get that one. Um... So there's that one. By the cat. Got it. See it. I see it. Whoa, that was sweet. That was like a Flintstones run noise. Did your choice to quit smoking have anything to do with your singing? No, I wasn't really singing when I quit. If anything, I liked the way it made my voice- it made my voice sound, which is an excuse that Freddie Mercury also used. So, I thought, good enough for Freddie, good enough for me. Um... But no, it was just dumb. It was just a- like a dumb way to go about that. So no, no, it wasn't- it wasn't a singing choice, because again, I, I never really considered myself, like, that was never my dream growing up. Like, I want to be a singer. It was more of a necessity, and also, you know, I didn't for years. The bats are in the belfry! See, I can- I can do that because I smoke. I can do, uh, Tom Waits. Going out west with Rainbow's hat. Except he can do that for a full like concert. I can do that for 13 seconds. <laughs> My vocal cords hurt after that. Remember to press Y for a flutter. Okay. Yeah, Tom Waits, um, I don't know, like, what he, that- that dude was gargling. Rocks? Gravel? Sawdust? Hey, Pong! Tastes like sawdust. Look, 
water. Why don't they like water? Five packs a day. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, too, like... Less people are smoking. It was so encouraged. Like, through ads and, like, people smoking. Too big to charge. I feel like, um... Smoking is, is just less cool now. But the main reason I started smoking cigarettes was because I was going to a bar. And, you know, you would drink, you'd have a cigarette, and then, then two. Everyone would go out for smoke breaks. And then maybe three. And then, you know, after a year, you're like, well, fuck it, I'll buy my own. But it took like a year of me not buying a pack, and then I'm like, oh, well, I'm just bumming cigarettes off of people, I may as well buy a pack. I'm not gonna smoke all of them, you know, I'll just give them to people at the bar. That was a nice thing to tell myself. That was completely false. Currently busy in home. Oh, okay. Shayla. So the uh, yeah the social aspect of cigarettes was even better than the smoking. <laughs> And then, you know, when I didn't have the social aspect as much anymore, it was, like, easier to quit, at least. Because I had tried to stop several times, and I, uh, just would go back out. And now I'm far enough away from it where I'm good. I can be around. I don't like it. I'd prefer not to be around the secondhand smoke, but, you know, I don't really... I notice it, like, I, I'm sure maybe you notice this, too, if you don't smoke, but... Instantly, it sticks to your clothes. Some clothing... If you're around smoking for like five minutes, it instantly sticks to your clothes. And I had, um... You know, I wear stuff that, that is like... hard to wash. <laughs> Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Hiya, Sheila. That you were gone? A bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. Mutton <laughs> quat. So, so there's like a, a lot of playable characters in this game, chat, or or what? There's like four. You can get up really steep cliffs like this one with your double jump. Press the jump button, then press it again. Exactly but they're limited. When it hits the ground to do a double jump. Once you've mastered it, you can go anywhere you want. Jump again exactly when you land. Oh yeah, there you go. Saving this to make an omelet, but I think you deserve it more. That to me, that just implies that many of these eggs have been used to make omelets. I'd still love to see Mario 64 remade like this. Which 
you know, it's already done. Mostly. Fans have done it for the PC version of Mario 64. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid to stream that, chat. I really am. That one, like, ROM hacks, that's a little bit different. But that... Eh. Just invert the color of the stream. <laughs> invert the sound waves too, right? Hey Sheila, let's play a joke. Takes this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. Nerd. I love, um, calling other people nerds when I play video games for five to six hours a day sometimes. stopping them unless we can smash their huts. They're too big to smash with your kick attack, though. Try using your stomp attack to smash them instead. I'll confuse the Rhinox with taunts while you stomp their huts, okay? You remember how to stomp, don't you? Just jump, then press the action button in the air. <laughs> So, chat, um, apparently Mario, Mario is Italian. So that's cool. But apparently, Mario, 3D World, and Bowser's Fury, there have been some revelations that maybe were released a little early, because the person, I think, deleted the tweet, but, um, apparently it's three hours to finish Bowser's Fury, and about six hours to 100% it. Which is both more and less than I was expecting. As, like, a joke, I was expecting two to four hours. So, three to six is, uh, a little bit better, but, you know, it's still, it's a shame... So I would probably, um, like I said, if I can get a key for that, and I'm able to get that and stream Bowser's Fury and some of the other, uh, the real game, because it is a good game, I would, but on a personal level, I don't think I would want to. That should have been DLC for Mario Odyssey. So, like, uh, I just don't know if it would be worth it for me, because I already have that game. For people that have a Switch, but didn't have a Wii U and have never played it, I think you'll probably like it. It's it's not quite Mario Odyssey or Mario 64. It's not like the collect-a-thon thing. It's more level-based. But it, it is actually a pretty quality game. I, I like it. I like 3D Land maybe a little bit better for some reason, and I still don't really know why. Maybe just the simplicity of it. But um, 3D World is multiplayer. Vinny, you blinded a T-Pose? Who is T-Posing? Look at the enemy on the cliff. Oh! <laughs> wow! Ugh. Look at the, the pick- <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Such an easy joke! You fuck, mate. I just can't help it. Someone said that they played this game all the way through like three times or something and they never saw that glitch. Uh, um, I don't know. I like glitches. So, uh, it's a common one. Well, did you see my cyberpunk stream last night? 
Were those glitches common? Actually, yes. We make the pants? If you ever forget how to control a character or vehicle, just go to the pause menu and select controls. Thanks for the help, Sheila! Ooh, you can have this egg I found in my house! None. The Spyro 3 portion of the remake has some bugs as it was mostly outsourced. Is that true? It's weird to think about how many people are actually involved in making games these days and, and how like various studios around the world end up working on the same project. Um, even within the framework that others I mean, I guess that makes sense. Is it still good, though? Is Would you say, chat, that it's a good remake, regardless of if it was outsourced or rushed? Yes. Well, I've been very happy with, um, with the previous two games, even though I'm not a Spyro person. Like, having never really played Spyro before, I... I have to say, these- these games feel pretty fresh. The original Spyro 3 was glitchiest, too. Well, I like a good 3D platformer, and I do like the style of Collectathon more than I like... ...like the Crash Bandicoot style. I get shit for this, I just don't gel with the Crash Bandicoot games. They're good games, it's just, I prefer this. I also didn't love Oddworld. I liked watching people play it. I didn't like to play it. Look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussy cats. Oh! Oh! Thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this. Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say, is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? Chadlow! So yeah, Oddworld. I, my friend had Oddworld, and I had the demo of Oddworld, and I just couldn't... Like, maybe I'm dumb. <laughs> I am! But no, I think really Oddworld was one of those things that... I wanted to play it like Mario, and it was very much not that. And I don't think I ever really gave it the chance it deserved, but I did try the demo, and I thought it was cool. But my friend had it. One of my friends... I had uh, a couple Franks. One of my Franks had the game, and I liked watching him play it because he was, like, he knew what he was doing. And it, the animation was amazing, the backgrounds and the mood were all amazing, it was scary. It was like one of those games that just kind of... It's like, where the fuck did this come from? So... Oddworld was cool, but then I did, um, like Stranger's Wrath. Now, I've never played Stranger's Wrath more than a couple minutes. But that's the first-person shooter one, right? That one... is actually, like, I've seen that game in action, I watch videos about it. That would probably be the one that I would enjoy playing. It's third person as well. Munch's Odyssey? Which one was that, Munch? Was that third person? Liam Gallagher crying, fresh out the egg. Which was the potato, Liam or Noel? Yes. Here I was, about to go for a 
a nice swim at Shell Beach when my portal just up and disappears right in front of me. If you go find some more of those dragon eggs, I bet this portal would start working again. Uh, but Liam calls his brother Potato. Lunch's Odyssey is more of a traditional puzzle third-person platformer, and Stranger's Wrath is its own beast. Your game camera is currently in passive, if you like. Okay, I will. Every time you bring up Liam Gallagher, I think of the guy who smashes watermelons with a mallet. That was my first Gallagher, too. Comedy Central played his, um, watermelon smashing bits all the fucking time. And then I think he had a brother who called himself, like, Gallagher 2. And he just did the same act as his- as his brother. Rhinox are running rampant around here, but I can't get anyone out of the Tiki Lodge long enough to do anything about it. I kind of miss the prop comedians, though. Like, not that they were amazing, like, you get your carrot tops in there, but it was, I don't know, there was, like, when I was younger, I enjoyed seeing the prop comedy because it was just like, oh, what's the next prop gonna be? Wacky items. I think it was made for younger people, <laughs> so I liked it. But, you know, you get older and you watch, like, Gallagher and Carrot Top and you're like, all right. Yeah, you got a wacky thing. Oh, is that a rubber chicken with a with a penis? Wow. Whose line is it anyway? Oh, I loved watching Whose Line Is It Anyway. Whose Line Is It Anyway was my favorite show while playing Donkey Kong 64. I even watched the uh, the British version with Tony Slattery. Yeah, that was on TV all the fucking time. Comedy Central was- it was just like a- a Gallagher. <laughs> and whose line? All day, every day. And then old SNL from like the early 90s. They got the rights to syndicate that, I guess. And it was just the, um... The Phil Hartman... Dana Carvey, Mike Myers, SNLs. And I liked those a lot, actually. Those were my- that was my favorite stuff. Good stuff good musical guests, too. Like when, um, what's-his-name introduced Nirvana. It was like, hi, Mom. Introducing Nirvana. Who was it? It was, uh, don't tell me. It was, um, what's his name? Barkley. Charles Barkley. Be sure to keep your friend Sparks the Dragonfly healthy, Spyro. If his health is low, torch a little creature like the slug below me to release a butterfly. Oh, don't kill me, please. Comedy Central also used to play the Tracy Ullman show. Yeah, Tracy Ullman's stuff was funny. That's where the Simpsons were born. I think Tracy Ullman kind of resented that she didn't get more of a kickback from The Simpsons. There's an interview with her that I, I watched fairly recently, and, and she seemed a little bit bitter about that. Could have been reading into that a little bit too much, but... To be fair, though, The Simpsons got, w like, way better after that show. Because um, some of those early Simpson things, like, it was there, but it wasn't quite the same. 
And then Conan O'Brien elevated that shit. Here, take this egg. They were giving them away at the tiki launch last night. She sued them? Oh, I didn't know that part. Sergeant Bird is on a mission. The like King DDD. Someone rated every Simpsons episode and uploaded a six hour video. I'm not surprised. Like, you, you didn't just blow my mind or anything. That seems about right. Man. Stuart Copeland really likes that baseline. Yeah, I said this. Well, it looks like it's just you and me. I'll it's a gal. Um, so I said this for previous times I played Spyro, but the remaster music is pretty close. Like, it's it's not bad. I, I don't think it's bad at all. It gets, um, you know, like a little bit maybe more dynamic range out of some of the instruments, and I guess they re-instrumentated it. <laughs> Re-orchestrated to make it a little bit more uh, modern get rid of some of those funky keyboard sounds, but that's what makes it, that's what gives it its charm, is the original keyboards. Um, but yeah, Copeland did an interview about how he couldn't get past some of the levels when they would send him the game to do the soundtrack. It's almost like he wasn't... gamer. But it's one of those things where I don't think Spyro music is like... You know, it's not Uematsu. You know what I mean? Like, it's not fucking Koji Kondo. And it's it's very percussion, percussive-oriented. And so I'm, I'm more into melody, so it lacks a little bit of that. And yet, like Kirby music, it's almost its own fucking genre. It's confounding. Like, really good. Woo! Spider, you're just in time. I saw two egg thieves run through this door. Well, actually, they paid me to guard their hideout, but that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for a small finder's fee. Thank you, you suck. Spider. And best of luck catching those dastardly egg thieves. Copeland included a track from Spyro 1 and his own best of album. That's cool. Could you imagine a best of the police, Sting, Copeland, um, Summers, and it's like a three album set and there's just random like Spyro songs in there. And then Sting talking about Fields of Gold and playing his loot. Because I saw a shifty looking character with one over there. Spyro 
So I watched a good video about uh, Chrono Trigger. Where the, the, the reviewer... I've been watching these reviews of, of Final Fantasy games and stuff, just to see what the person thinks. I forget the name of the, the channel, but he goes into detail about Mitsuda. And, like, his whole, like, breakdown he had. while composing the music for Chrono Trigger and how Uematsu stepped in. And he got me emotional. This this YouTuber lad actually got me really emotional about Mitsuda. About how Mitsuda wanted to do the soundtrack. He was like, if I don't... If I don't get a chance to do my own game, I'll quit. Like, he really, really wanted to do <coughs> a soundtrack. And so they gave Chrono Trigger to him. And he put his everything into it. And then, like, when they eventually played the soundtrack for the people... Um, for the, the, you know, the developers and the producers, he, he, like, openly wept. So I didn't know some of that, and it made me like that game and its soundtrack even more somehow. I don't know the name of the YouTube channel, though. Does anyone know? I, I want to recommend the video because it was a good video. Resonant Arc. Thanks, John. Yeah. Also, just thanks, John, in general. You've been keeping, uh, keeping the channel alive with some good thumbnails. And, uh, lots of hard work. Appreciate you. I don't think Mitsuda drove himself to, um, nervous breakdown exhaustion in, uh, Chrono Cross, though. I think that he was a lot healthier. What's going on here, though? Some weird frame rate stuff going on here. Oh. Am I just not fast enough to, uh, catch up with this lad? Catch up slowly, cut corners more. Okay. This is where Stu got stuck too. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, speaking of musicians, just for a second, I wanted to give a big shout out to John Paul Jones who was actually the most talented member of Led Zeppelin. <laughs> they're, they're bassist and keyboardist. Hey, there goes another one. He was really fast. Maybe if Love I that dude. Make the supercharge, you'll be able to catch him. There's a secret if you miss on purpose and charge the right cliff. Where? Oh my god. Oh my god. Chat. Oh, eat shit. Oh, I got the secret already. He was practically R.E.M.'s fifth member for Automatic. Yeah, he did all the, uh, orchestration. He did the arrangements. Did you catch that egg's name? It was Kermit? Kermit the Waz here! Hey, y'all! Kermit the Waz!
I don't know why I did that. I don't, I don't know why I did that. Those guys will do Wait, how do I... I need to get supercharged again. There we go. There's still a secret wall. Can you do Shrimp Lady in Miss Piggy voice? I'm ready! You ready? Uh, these shrimp fresh. They just arrived! From the finest aquaform in Night City! Aquaform? What do you think? From Pacifica? That trash from the sea make you sick! Frog! I don't think I got the quote quite right. I missed a little bit of it. It's that trash from the sea, no good, make you sick. It was the glowing wall you broke earlier. How many walls can you break here? One or two? There's a lot of misinformation in the chat. Oh well. Oh well, oh well. Take a look and see. Uh, molten crater, replace idle head. Oh, yeah, we're missing a lot there. And I'm missing. What do I have to do here? Learn gliding? Sunrise spring? Can't do that stuff yet? Okay. That's a funny numbers. Yay! My portal is working. I'll see you at the beach. Chad, how do you feel about like tool sets? Do you like just tool sets? the Rhinox submarine. Then they took it That's for a nice. joy ride. And then they smashed it into a big pile of rocks. Oddly enough, the Rhinox failed to see the humor in their actions and stuffed my friends in the jail cell behind you. Those bastards. Usually just grab tools at the flea market. Now tools are they're best when they're in a briefcase.
What's your favorite water level in games? Um, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze had some good water levels. Who's, who's drowning? Fuck. Um, what other water levels? Uh, frog suit levels from Mario 3 were fine because you were frog suit. Jolly Roger Bay. Yeah, Mario 64. Here's the thing, I like Mario 64's water levels because of the music and the atmosphere, but I don't really love the way Mario swim. I think Mario swim better in other games, like within the Galaxy series with the shells. button to open the guidebook page for the world you're in. Where's the cookbook, though, for the omelets? <laughs> this is not a pineapple under the sea. You know, if I do get Bowser's Fury, there's going to be inevitable comparisons to, uh, Spyro. Just because I'm playing this. Someone said something about water level. Shit, I missed it. So what are what are good what what good water levels can you think of, chat? And it doesn't count when you say Subnautica, <laughs> because that's a water game and it's very good. Majora's Mask Zora. Fair. Jolly Roger Bay. Planker's Cavern. I like Planker's Cavern. Cavern. Rayman. Ancient Cistern. I guess that is the water level for uh, Skyward Sword, isn't it? Good. Ancient Cistern was one of the best dungeons in, uh, that's one of- I don't remember a ton of Skyward Sword, I remember that dungeon, like, pretty vividly. I even remember the, the, like, the whole gimmick of, like, the center of the thing, and the multiple levels, and the big sword, and the design. Like, it's been ten years since I played that game, but I can pretty fondly remember that dungeon. Does Wind Waker count? Yeah, I mean, Wind Waker... What, what water stuff was there, really? The whole game is water, but you can't really swim. Tower of the Gods a little bit. Yeah. Lily pad in Mario Sunshine. <laughs> I see what you did there. Mm. 
Mario Odyssey had a couple. You can hover yeah. To get more distance I remember those. They're pretty good. Just press the action button at the end of your glide. Would you want diving in Breath of the Wild 2, says another chat member. Yeah, if they can find a way to incorporate it meaningfully and not just have it be there for the fuck of it. I mean, it's such an unknown. Like, what are they going to do with this game? Is it going to be under Hyrule? Is there going to be rebuilt Hyrule? Is it going to be traditional dungeons and item progression? There's so many questions. And so many directions they can go in. But I wouldn't mind, um... Wouldn't mind diving. This is gonna sound kind of weird, but... You know how in Skyrim, there's just, like, a good helmet out in the middle of the ocean that you can get immediately? You just dive and grab the thing? I kind of like that. That's Oblivion? Oh, that's Oblivion? Isn't it like a, a night vision goggles helmet? There's- there's underwater stuff in Skyrim, too. Fingleam. Was the name of that, apparently. But yeah, I, I like that. I wouldn't mind having, like, underwater treasures go on an underwater adventure. Like, the underwater controls here are- are pretty good because they're fast. And... It doesn't feel shitty and sluggish. Any chance for Zelda stream this year? <laughs> Mate, I stream Zelda all the time. <laughs> um... Which one? Ooh, that was a good voice crack. Uh, which one? There's so many. Let's see what happens. It's Zelda's 35th anniversary, so we're probably gonna get some re-releases. We may even get Breath of the Wild 2 for the holiday this year. I've been saying that for two years now, so I don't know if it's going to happen, but pipe dreams. My plan worked. The dumb octopus dropped the jail key while he was shaking me. Now I can free my friends. Oh, I forgot to tell you. One of the Rhinox had this egg in his lunchbox. Huh. Stream Link Between Worlds? I've played that when it came out. I streamed it. I think there's a, a stream of it online. It's a great game. I think it even runs pretty well on Citra. But, um, you know, there, there's some other games like I'd like to play for the first time as well. And if we're getting Zelda content this year for the anniversary, then I'd probably... I don't know, maybe I'd rather not think about streaming a Zelda game just yet and see what is in store. Ludo the Rhinoc has challenged us to a naval battle. Our speedboat versus his nuclear shark submarine. If we win, we'll get the dragon egg he's guarding. If we lose, we'll have to spend a month doing kitchen patrol. What do you say? Do you want to take on Bluto? Yeah, sure. Okay, good luck. Just remember, stay away from the sharp end. Do you get more torpedoes? Or did I already fuck it? Finny, what is with your sleep schedule? I've always wondered. Finny, you get more. Okay. I can't get those. Uh... I think I just naturally have a weird sleep schedule. I sleep after I'm done streaming. Usually maybe like 45 minutes later. And then uh, I wake up eight hours later.
that's the plan, at least. Sometimes it happens. I don't mind it. I think... I know that it's not as good for me as probably a fucking normal-ass, like, sunlight sleep schedule, but... I think it's because there's there's almost like a rebellious thing going on here, because I had to wake up early for jobs and school my whole fucking life, and I hated it. Um, and part of me likes being a night owl, and also I like streaming at night. I feel like chat's a little bit more chill at night. the first time Pluto has ever lost. You dragons must have a ton of talent. I hope this egg was worth all the trouble. I write music at night. I like the, the, the nighttime... Um, I've, I've just always been a natural night owl. So. Eight hours is eight hours. Yeah, but apparently... Like... There's a thing... There's with sunlight, and I learned about it. I do, yeah, well, vitamin D, not just that, but also something that helps you sleep. Like, your body's naturally attuned and produces a specific thing that's in melatonin. Uh, it produces it naturally when the sun goes down. I don't know how true that is. I do take a vitamin D supplement, and, uh, in the summer and spring and fall, I tend to go for a lot of walks and explore. And... I do get a lot of sunlight. Or, not a lot, but... I get much more vitamin D naturally, <clears throat> when it's not winter. The circadian rhythm. Yep. Well, I just... I don't know, I just like being a night owl. Uh, but I, I also like... Even though I don't really do it as much anymore, especially now, but I kind of like the nightlife, like the car song. It was something that I was much more in tune with years ago. But now... Clearly, a lot of that has kind of been pushed aside. Even before... Reasons. 2020 Reasons. I just was going out a lot less. Neon looks better at night. I mean, listen, one of... <laughs> Chad, this is gonna sound so fucking stupid. But hear me out. My favorite movie is Blade Runner. As some of you may know. Times a thousand. And I like the way that movie looks. I like the idea of a, of a rainy city at night. I just don't like the way things look at night. I like night mode on my devices. Oh yeah, and I like the quiet, too, of night. That's the other thing. I really like going for uh, a little stroll sometimes, or just enjoying, like, the fact that when I'm... When I'm awake, many other people are not awake. There's something kind of cool about that. That, and I just love my West Coast viewers. That's why I stream when I do, for West Coast uh, lads. surprisingly good fluid dynamic characteristics. From now on, all of our submarines will be egg-shaped. Plaids. Straya? Yeah, I'm alright with Straya. Sorry for saying it. <laughs> the worst Australian accent. But no, I mean... I know that my streams are more convenient... Uh, for people not in my time zone. That's just common sense, considering how fucking late I stream. But yeah, I like it. I'm not always going to stream like this, I, I don't think. I would imagine as time rolls on, my stream schedule would change. 
and it would probably, as I get older and older, I'd try to figure out if maybe it would go a little earlier. Japanese fans. I've had people tell me that they watched from uh, that they live in Japan. The uh, epic SMP thing is is being asked again. Um, yeah, don't expect a lot of that. I'm probably just gonna check it out once or twice. That was a uh, again that tweet was a little bit of a miscommunication and not 100% accurate. I'll be there. I'm, I'm gratified to have been invited. I think it's really nice. And I'm really happy that they want me to check it out, but my plan was to stream Minecraft with the future updates that are coming out this year. And uh, as such, I wasn't sure I really wanted to be a part of this thing, but they, they kind of took that as a yes. So, as I said earlier, I'm gonna stream it, or not stream it, but I'm- Ooh, I'm gonna play it and then record it. And then maybe edit some footage from it. But I don't- I don't plan on streaming it or, like, being there every day. Ross got addicted to it. I'm not- that's not gonna happen here, I don't think. Just looking around to see if I missed anything. Well, I know I did, I just don't know how to get there. Destroy the sandcastle. You said the same before. Yeah, but there's- there's people here that are just joining. And, uh, part of being a streamer is answering the same questions every two hours. Here. Let's see if uh, there's nothing here. Dead Cells DLC. Uh, not anytime soon. Maybe. I mean, I'm a little bit through Dead Cells. It, I like it. I'm I'm good. There's there's a lot of other games that I'm I'm enjoying. If anything, I'd really want to get the Hades ending before I go back to Dead Cells. Oh, it's up here. And now, here come the requests. It's like clockwork, it really is. I'm, uh, chat. As much as I would love to answer the question of will you stream this game, or this game, or this game, people are listing like a dozen games. Right now. And two dozen. Three dozen. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say... I have some ideas for what I'm gonna stream in the future. And today was- my idea was Spyro, just because I felt like it was requested a lot, and also I genuinely do like the Spyro games. And I felt like it was time for- for a Spyro, or like a kind of a, a nice, uh, 3D platformer. Just feeling it. As for stuff in the future... Well... Let's just say I have some ideas, and I don't want to stick to them, because if I say maybe, some people do take that as gospel, and they're like, oh, Vinny's going to definitely stream this, and then if I don't, they get upset. So I'm, I usually don't say what I'm streaming until I stream it. I love the smell of singed Rhinoc in the morning. Any new VR ideas? Um, not really. There's- there's always a couple little VR experiences that seem cool. But nothing as substantive as, like, a Half-Life Alex. Hi, Sheila! The Rhinox have built a fortress on our beach, and we're going to blow it to smithereens! We just need you to take out all 
the turrets for us. We're lighting the bomb now, so just make sure to stomp all those turrets before the fuse runs out. Substantiative okay? is a word, isn't it? <laughs> I want it to sound smart. Um, well, here's Star Trek bridge crew with Ross will definitely happen at some point. I know that'll happen. Um, more Pavlov will definitely happen. So those two for sure. And then checking out other random things would be nice at some point too. Um, Blade and Sorcery has had some little mod updates. Someone made a meat. As an example. Does it still run like hot garbage? Yes. VR suggestion emulator. Yeah, you have to be invited to that. And uh, I'm a little lazy, so I haven't requested. But it looks cool, and I, I would like, probably, to play that. Wow! I can't believe I survived that blast! It's a good thing I kept this egg nice and safe in my pocket! What is this? Round. <laughs> that's like me trying to make a Warcraft 3 map. And, and like, that, that's mountains in Warcraft 3. I just feel bad. Are these little ducks? They're like ducks in like, um, and they're little noises too. I mean, it's not going to stop me, but I don't know why we have to kill nice things like ducks. It's, it's just a shame. Scuba ducks. I do think it's cool that there are multiple characters with different playstyles in this, though. And I can get why they would go in that direction if gameplay was getting a little stale. Spyro is all well and good, but when you have three games, it's nice to mix it up a little bit. And this is a good way to do it without it feeling like you're taking away the core, like, essence of, of what Spyro is. So... You know, it's still mostly Spyro, and it's still, like, the same gameplay. They're bonus levels, yeah. Donkey Kong 64 tried to attempt a similar thing with lots of mini-games, but you know what? Some of those mini-games were not as good as you remember them. They weren't bad, some of them were actually very good. But there were also some mini-games in Donkey Kong 64 that just... ...were very... ...annoying. Very annoying. Hop to the secret cave. There's a hidden cave on Sheila's level. Uh, yeah, the word hop... I was like, wait a minute. I still, again, you know, I'll defend DK64. There's, there's always a couple naysayers that show up in chat that are like, game sucks. And, you know, yeah, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. 
Uh, but I, I just, I had such a good time with it for a while. And, um... I think it's just, I like the levels, I like the Kongs with funny faces, I like the music. I like some of the objectives, like some of the platforming is pretty good. Diddy Kong getting a jetpack. So where's the secret level? Oh, okay. Again, there is a mod that allows you to switch between any Kong without going to a barrel using the D-pad. And when I tried a, a similar mod, it didn't work. But this is the better version of it. Now it's like actually updated and pretty good from what I understand. We make the pants. We gotta figure out a way to get over there and up there. Chat, I may need a little bit of guidance here. How do I get the fuck up there? It's simpler than you think. Ledge on the stairs. I tried getting up there. It's, it's not easy. Uh, well, it's doable. <laughs> yep, it was a lot more easy than I thought. Never would have crashed that submarine if Sal hadn't tried a handbrake U turn during an inverted barrel roll. A barrel roll. Where's this one? Miss this whole thing. There's another one. You got it. Complete. Why? Why, why is the human brain so easily tricked? When you see 100% complete, it just feels so good. It's like, yes. Yes, it's all done. Brilliant. Why is the human brain? I don't know, man. Let's talk about the Big Bang. Did you know that if you zoom into a cell, it looks like the universe, it looks like galaxies, and nebulae. Oh, man. Oh, um, chat, how do you feel about cyberpunk bingo? Because, uh, Dave may have made Cyberpunk Bingo for next time. I 
just remembered that. I think it'll be fun. Shrimp lady is the free space. Has to be. Did anyone else get, like, little weird hitches playing this game? I'm just wondering now if I have, like, a weird driver. Third one was the most unstable. The first game got the occasional hitch. Also, jumps I couldn't make without capped FPS. Okay. Get Sparks upgrades. First one is increased range for gem collection in case you want to save the gem search until then. Oh. Okay. Let's see how we're doing on the guidebook. Hey, dude. I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the action button at the end of your glide. Camera locks. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. Or it wrapped around. It was weird. Pole train. Huh. Okay. chat. I guess maybe there's a boss fight now, I think. Or, or it's Cloud Spires. Cloud Spires. So apparently some of the tracks in this game were not composed by Copeland. Is this one of them? Nope, this is a Copeland track. How can you tell? Have shut down our cloud generator. Crazy keyboards. Yeah, I'm getting some weird frame rates. Try V-Sync for a second. That's weird. 
It's not that big of a deal, but I'm just... I don't remember this being like this last year. Better. If my wings were big and strong like yours, I could easily glide across you. I know it might be annoying to some chat members, like, why does this dude keep focusing on frame rates? I want to make sure all the stuff I have on my computer is, is in perfect harmony. And considering I had XMP settings off... I was wondering, like, well... Technically, I have a computer that can handle... most games and streaming, no problem. So it's either the game being somewhat un unoptimized, or... something I can do, which, of course, if it's something I can do, I want to do it. And if it's a driver problem, then I can, you know, attempt to reinstall, or... But yeah, V-Sync actually helped out. The metal armor those enemies are wearing protects them from your dragon plane. If you hold down the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Okay. So, your frame rates are a little bit different than they should be. Well, I've got the solution. Thank you for calling customer service. Alright. Alright. All right. So. First, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna restart, restart your computer. Do you like the Denver Broncos? Okay, now, memory settings, hold Windows, press G, go and XMP enable. What happened to this character? Boredom. This, this character has been working tech support so long... ...that... <laughs> ...that they've turned into... ...a bastardized hyper version of themselves. Yeah, flanderization can happen even on streams. Mr. Dink hit, like, high levels of flanderizations. This, and, uh, Bob Berger, too. Okay, Dreeb. We have nowhere else to go from here, so I need you to split into even more than five guys. And then from there, after splitting, I'm gonna split and be a deadbeat dad. But not after we go to the multiverse of Borgler. Sorceress has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I might look the other way if I was distracted. Counting gems. Oh, yes. Precious, precious gems. Well then, Spyro, you may now use the bellows anytime you wish. Alright, I'm supposed to say no to get more dialogue, right? A year later, I still don't remember that. Okay. Dream, I need you to split into several guys and join the NBA so we can find Shaquille O'Neal and shake him. Yes, father, but why? Because we need to shake Shaq to, to make ride. better Borglars. Press the jump button at the very top of your jump and use the action button to hover at the end of your glide. Then we can play 
Borg's get ball. Minus nine. Okay, sure. Where are you gonna where else are you gonna get that content? Minus nine. From a toilet. Mate, you look in the toilet. If it gives you better entertainment, you let me know. You come back. Also, what do you think our first level of sub-tier is? Toilet. You know what you're gonna see when you look into the toilet for your entertainment? Your own fucking reflection. Oh! Welcome to the U2 show. You look like a fine young lad. Lay your head on Bono's breast. As we fight the fight for freedom together. Oh! This is, um, yeah, this is all just best bits strung together. I, in one of those clouds, there's gonna be an Odo. you in today. Pick your poison. Uh, I'm just looking to search for tech support for my <laughs> uh, my XMP settings have turned off and I can't join a game of Sea of Thieves. So does anyone know how to rip Deep Space Nine for VR chat? <laughs> Well, if anyone has a, a full recreation of the Deep Space Nine promenade and Quark's bar lying around, let me know. Like, if you have it on hand. Nari was trying to rip it, but it's, a. Uh, let's just say it's not an easy rip job. I don't know, I figured it would be worth asking, since people have made the Shrimp Lady in its glory. What's stopping from ripping? It's it's a STO rip, and there's a lot of custom stuff that has to be done to fill it all out. Um, maybe ask Nari, but it's it's not. Yeah, it's it's not as easy as it seems. Um, but I figured, hey, if anyone spent the better part of a year modeling the promenade. And Quark's bar. All you have to do, here's how easy it is to do this chat. Here's what you do. So you go into the RIP software, which we'll call it, like, Scum RIP. You then, it says, please pick game to RIP. And then you choose game, so in this case, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, the game. Right? You press Enable. It rips every asset. Puts them all into neat little folders. Then you drag the folder into VRChat. 
and that's how you get a world in VR chat. You just drag the folder in, and it, it immediately works. You click enable. Rip. Why not use the Star Trek Online bar? That's what I, I said, STO. You know, just in case anyone from CBS is around. But, uh... Yeah, it, it's not as easy it, or as good as it seemed. That's why I, I was, yeah, I was mentioning it. How much more of this is... We're only 61% here, huh? Okay. Wasn't Deep Space Nine in Stage Nine? Uh, not the inside of it. Then he pressed the red button. Where? But I had... But... I didn't need to anymore. Just trying to... Just explore, get all this stuff. Get all the gems. Most of them. Many of them. Some of them. You think? You? No, I don't. Haven't had a thought day in my life. If my wings were big and strong like yours, I could easily glide across here. Two special areas are by the end of the portal. At the end, by the portal. Oh, I see it right there. I get for looking at chat. I'm not blaming you, I'm blaming myself for using my eyes. Open. No. Okay, so here's one. Our sun has gone out. We can make a new one with our lava fusion cauldron and three sun seeds, but they keep burning out before we can get them in the pot. Is that how that works? On the switch to get a fresh sun seed and keep flaming it until you get it into the pot. Weird. Bravo! 
Where'd you go? Oh. There's one. I, it looks like a California raisin. And something else. Cool spot. What an aggressive marketing campaign that was, trying to make raisins cool by giving them sunglasses and saxophones. Hey kids, you know what's cool? Raisins! Prove it! Uh... We got these raisin puppets. Craisin market. The craisin industry would like to have a word about raisins. Nothing cooler than a healthy colon. You like to take clean dumps? Hey, kids, do you like prune juice? No, not really. That shit kind of sucks. Yes, but Worf drinks prune juice. Don't you like Star Trek, kids? Not really. <laughs> it's, it's too much talking. In combat. Speaking from experience, bananas and water will do you fine. That's not a joke. Banana water? For real? I'll be honest, though, the, the chocolate-covered raisins are legit. I don't really like raisins all that much, but that shit can get addictive. Shine get. You might be a dead though. Sunseed egg, same thing. Coca Cola just made Coke plus coffee together. Can I get a link to that? That doesn't sound right. It's not that I don't believe you, but... What do you mean? I haven't had soda. Or... Like, anything like that in a while. But I'm really curious about this, so we got links. Coffee-infused soda with more caffeine than ever before. Nah. Sips like a Coke, finishes like a coffee. So does it taste like coffee? Or is it just like, fuck you up with caffeine? Sounds like an energy drink. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, no, that's weird. Thank you for the link, but God, I, I don't know if I would try that. If I see it, though, I might have to for the sake of the stream. Let's take a couple sips. There's a caramel variant. I, But I haven't had a soda in a while, so it's probably going to be really nasty for me. If I don't drink soda for a long time... The bubbles. They hurt. 
you drink ginger ale. Sometimes. I haven't had ginger ale in probably about two or three months. But it's just like... It's not even the bubbles, it's just like the overall taste of it. Use superfly power up to flame the spirits in the bell towers. Okay. Coffee so there's Odo. Coffee soda. It fell out of the belfry. For the record, coffee soda exists. It's called the Manhattan Special. And as someone who enjoys a cup of coffee, I kind of like it. I haven't had it in a while. Um, but it is it's a fairly popular ish popular New York thing. I don't know if other people have tried it. I don't know if it's in other locations. But it's not bad. You would think so. But it's just like really obviously the sugary nature of it. If you don't like uh, when your beverages are basically drenched in sugar, you're going to have an issue with that, too. Green bean casserole soda. Fuck off. Asparagus piss soda. The balloon's already, sir. So is this um this is the boss here? Shrimp soda? Good. You stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I, I've tried to scare him off, your highness, but he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster and eliminate him! Uh... Kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat! As long as you get rid of him! Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, you have a gun? This ought to do it. You can't keep me caged up in here forever! <laughs> you there! Get me out of here! This is unacceptable! You! Come here! <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> what the devil? Wow. <laughs> right, I feel like a gun would probably be less effort. Less things could go wrong. When I heard that Sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries, though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. Thanks, Sheila. Hmm. 
Is this a bully fight from Mario 64? A little different. Oh, new move. Music is weird. Cool, the good music, but like weird for a boss fight. Switch to original? This is original. The new one has a bit of a punch to it. Well, not, not even a punch, just like more... more strings. A little bit more percussion, too. Oh, man. Whoa! Oh! oh, damn. For sure, he that was, was going in the swim. Told ya. Gun. Imagination! I Imagination! I'm gonna stop here. Yeah, it's more Spyro. It's a good one. 
It's Spyro with a little bit more variety. Okay, Dragon. You've managed to survive longer than I expected. But you haven't the slightest idea what sort of dangers lie ahead of you. I suggest you grab your cat friend and whatever eggs you found and hightail it back home while you still can. I'm telling you this for your own good, you know. Nah. It's like the, t uh, the, the scorpion and the tarantula on the lily pad, you know, and the frog. And then the scorpion stings the frog. He's like, and the frog's like, why did you do that? Now we're both going to die. And then the scorpion's like, they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Hope the game auto saves. All right, so stick around just a couple minutes. I'll be back with Everspace 2 if you like space games. From weird dragon fantasy game to space. Be back in a couple minutes. I so wish I could play the actual song. Yeah. <sighs>